Hi, I'm Crystal, and I'm going to show you my entry for the Junk Journal July prompt fold out. So I'm starting by stamping some stitching onto my journal page, rather than actually going to my sewing machine. I do have one, but it's bulky and I don't like having it out, and um, sometimes it's hard to, to sew on a page when you've got something on the back. So I think the, the stamps are kind of a fun alternative, although when I look at some of them, what I'm thinking is, gosh, adjust your stitch length. <laughs> but uh, anyway, stamps are fun. So this particular stamp platform is the Tim Holtz. It is discontinued in the US. But I do have some links in the description box for some alternatives, including a DIY version. Um, so check that out if you're interested. Then um, I'm just checking the sizing of my pieces that I've assembled for this. And the characters are from the Exercise Grumpling set from Tailored Expressions. That is how I feel about exercise, but you know, sitting and crafting does not uh, get in any cardio, so I, I need to do more actual exercise. And that's part of my, my journaling here, is about my intention and my plan. So I have a stamp here where I only want it to be stacked instead of a long line, so I'm carefully inking just part of the stamp each time to make it conform to my desires. Now I'm going to uh, move on to building the fold-out section, and I'm using some strong double-sided tape to hold the fold. Um, I think this works better than glue for a piece that's going to be handled routinely. Um, so the double-sided tape is very strong, but if you're accustomed to working with liquid glue or glue sticks, you do have to be aware that this does not give you any wiggle room or any chance to adjust, so you have to be careful before you press down your paper. So next I'm going to decorate that join, and I'm using some washi tape, which I am gluing down. Washi tape is by its nature removable, and I don't want it to shift, so I am putting just a bead of glue under the washi. And then instead of using any kind of fabric um, trim, I'm using some die-cut paper borders um, across that seam. I think those die-cut borders are kind of fun just like the stamp stitching. Now I'm going to um, do some collage work, and since I'm attaching something really thin, I'm smoothing out the glue using a piece of junk mail. I think that's a, a Geico card or a progressive card. I don't mind getting it covered in glue and tossing it after I'm done with it. Um, it's not really necessary if you're using heavier paper, but when you're gluing down something thin, that bead of glue really shows under the tissue paper, so I think that smoothing out the glue is very helpful. So I'm moving on then to the, the facing page, a little bit more collage. And um, I'm using some brown paper, and then I'm moving on to some tissue paper that is um, calligraphy paper meant for people practicing Chinese calligraphy. I thought that was fun. And I'm stamping um, with some more stamps out of that uh, encouragement phrase set. Um, you can draw crosses and dots, but I had the stamp, so why not? Now I'm checking the fold because that is important to do when you're working on a fold out or interactive page. You've got to make sure that the action doesn't interfere with the pages next to it. Um, you can have a nasty surprise when you get done if you don't check as you're going along. So do be careful to check as you, as you move forward. Now I have another stamp where I only want part of the stamp. The exercise grumpling set has got some phrases like, my new exercise routine is diddly squats and cardio is hardio, and I didn't want to say either of those things, um, so I'm just carefully stamping a portion of each of the phrases so that I can say my new exercise routine is cardio. So I'm going to assemble my pieces here about my resolution and my progress, and uh, use some more Grumplings characters and keep checking that fold. And then I'm going to, um, to move on to the back of this folded page. It's the very next step. And here I've got some more Grumplings and some more collage paper. And I do have a piece of stitching that uses the actual sewing machine that I'm going to attach. And I'm going to go ahead and use the strong double-sided adhesive when I get to that piece of trim because it's heavily textured. And so the, the double-sided tape can be really useful in those situations as well. Um, it's, it will carry that, the weight of that item 
um, very nicely. And it is uh, four or five layers of paper plus the thread, so it attaches nicely. Then I'm going to attach the rest of the stuff that I've picked out and use more of these encouraging phrases from this stamp set. May as well use all of them. I have the stamps out. And in this case, I'm using all of the um, all of the stamps, although that let's go says let's go on vacation, and I carefully did not stamp on vacation, although I would rather go on vacation than exercise, I'll be honest. Um, but not, not the theme I'm trying to convey with this particular um, journaling spread. So I'm trying to stay on message here. So once I've um, decided what I want to put on the page, I'm going to do some more stenciling. As I said, it helps with the visual cohesiveness of the journal. If you continue to use the same, um, the same colors and the same stencils as you move through, um, that way you've got some consistency as you go from place to place. Even if you're doing something that's heavily collaged. So the uh, Junk Journal July is hosted by Meg Journals, and I really love her videos. I've got a, a link to her prompts and her um, user ID below, but she is also very consistent as she goes through her journals. Um, she has a very um, consistent style where she uses a lot of neutral colors, and so I'm not using neutral colors, but I am trying to stay visually consistent. So here's the completed spread with the fold out where I'm talking about my intent and my progress to get more exercise. So I hope you're enjoying Junk Journal July, and I thank you for spending a little time with me today talking about it.